So it's a pretty long walk from the entrance and kind of goes around. So this castle has a big mosque called Mosque Abul Hassan. And this castle is in pretty good shape compared to the other castles that we have visited. See right here, it says Mosque of Al Nasir Muhammad bin Al Khalun. It's a different mosque. So they have two mosques inside. on the roof. Okay. Alright guys, um, inside the Mosque of Al-Kulum, inside the castle of Sultan Saladin Ayyubi in Cairo. This is a separate mosque next to the Mosque of Al-Hassan. This mosque is amazing. It's a 700 year mosque and I'm inside of it according to the gentleman who take care of this uh, beautiful mosque who is a mozzan which means the person who calls for prayer he said that uh, this mosque is so eloquently designed that half of it is uh, represent the blue mosque of Istanbul the columns represent the Hagia Sophia in uh, Istanbul as well and the green dome represent the green dome of Prophet Mosque in Medina. Uh, some of the columns have crosses signed which represent the Coptic Christians who were involved in building this mosque as well. So it's a beautiful architecture. Just look at this guys, beautiful. According to the gentleman, this, this shows a clock for five times prayers. It's a sun clock. The roof is made out of wood from India. This mosque is almost 700 years old. This is the same in the permit stone, many stone, shin stone, and the same in Hagia Sophia, Istanbul, like Blue Mosque. And this is Madrasa here, school teacher, inside to make here pray. What is your name, sir? Abu Ziyad. Abu Ziyad. Okay, Mr. Abu Ziyad is a Muslim over here who calls for prayer in this mosque. This is all the green dome, and the same in Medina. And the minarets are from Arabic style, and one minaret is a Turkish style. This amazing and beautiful guys. According to the person, this column was built by the Coptic Christians. And you can see the sign of a cross right there. I'll show you. If you can see. It's right there. Seven hundred year old mosque. These arches are from Ottoman Empire style and the minarets are Arabic style and the green dome 
represent the Green Dome in Medina Prophet's Mosque. Guys, you see this uh, roof uh, over me? That roof is made out of wood. The wood came from India. And we did have some artwork. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that is, most of that is gone. But that it has some blue artwork. About seven years of, uh, 700 years of uh, time has taken a toll on it. But the wood is still there. Imagine 700 years ago, they built these thick columns. Such a fine chandeliers over here. It needs a lot of attention. They go on top of this, as you see there's a door right there, which opens up and the king or prime minister or president give a sermon to the people who are attending the prayers. See if you can see that wood is still there, but the blue artwork is mostly gone. Like I said earlier, the wood came from India. And this is amazing, simply amazing. I'm in awe right now. We're here, guys. You can see the construction worker put their signs over there. It says 1328. So this mosque was built on in year 1328. Amazing. So columns have these signs. Sun 1328 means year 20, 1328. from this side you can see the domes and the minarets of the Abu Hassan mosque which represent the Turkish style Ottoman style mosque which is right next to the mosque of Abu Kalum which is where I am standing right now I'm gonna go inside that mosque also but this is amazing simply amazing Those are 700 years old.
And guys, this is the Sultan Abu Hassan Mosque, which kind of represents the Turkish style. And right next to it is the Sultan uh, Abu Qom Kalum Mosque. So it is from the Mamluk era, and this one is from the Ottoman era. 